Welcome to Daily Bible Verse Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, the King James Version. Do we begin again to commend ourselves? Or need we, as some others, epistles of commendation to you, or letters of commendation from you? Ye are our epistle, written in our hearts, known and read of all men. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshly, fleshy tables of the heart. And such trust have we through Christ to Godward, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but our sufficiency is of God, who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. But if the ministration of death, written and engraven in stones, was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses for the glory of his countenance, which glory was to be done away. How shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? For if the ministration of condemnation be glory, much more doth the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. For even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect, by reason of the glory that excelleth. For if that which is done away was glorious, much more that which remaineth is glorious. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. And not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. But their minds were blinded, for until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Now the Lord is that Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. The Amplified Version of 2 Corinthians chapter 3 Ministers of a New Covenant Are we starting to commend ourselves again? Or do we need, like some, false teachers, letters of recommendation to you or from you? No, you are our letter of recommendation, written in our hearts, recognized and read by everyone. You show that you are a letter from Christ, delivered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Such is the confidence and steadfast reliance and absolute trust that we have through Christ toward God. Not that we are sufficiently qualified in ourselves to claim anything as coming from us, but our sufficiency and qualifications come from God. He has qualified us, making us sufficient as ministers of a new covenant of salvation through Christ not of the letter of a written code, but of the spirit. For the letter of the law kills by revealing sin and demanding obedience, but the spirit gives life. Now if the ministry of death engraved in letters on stones, the covenant of the law which led to death because of sin came with such glory and splendor that the Israelites were not able to look steadily at the face of Moses because of its glory, a brilliance that was fading away. 
How will the ministry of the Spirit, the new covenant which allows us to be Spirit-filled, fail to be even more glorious and splendid? For if the ministry that brings condemnation, the old covenant, the law, has glory, how much more does glory overflow in the ministry that brings righteousness? The new covenant which declares believers free of guilt and sets them apart for God's special purpose. Indeed, what had glory, the law, in this case, no longer has glory because of the glory that surpasses it, the gospel. For if that law which fades away came with glory, how much more must that gospel which remains and is permanent abide in glory and splendor? Since we have such a glorious hope and confident expectation, we speak with great courage, and we are not like Moses, who used to put a veil over his face, so that the Israelites would not gaze at the end of the glory which was fading away. But in fact, their minds were hardened, for they had lost the ability to understand. For until this very day, at the reading of the Old Covenant, the same veil remains unlifted, because it is removed only in Christ. But to this day, whenever Moses is read, a veil of blindness lies over their heart. But whenever a person turns in repentance and faith to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, emancipation from bondage, true freedom. And we all, with unveiled face, continually seeing as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are progressively being transformed into his image from one degree of glory to even more glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. The New Living Translation of 2 Corinthians chapter 3. Are we beginning to praise ourselves again? Are we like others who need to bring you letters of recommendation, who or who asks you to write such letters on their behalf? Surely not. The only letter of recommendation we need is you, yourselves. Your lives are a letter written in our hearts. Everyone can read it and recognize our good work among you. Clearly, you are a letter from Christ, showing the result of our ministry among you. This letter is written not with pen and ink, but with the Spirit of the living God. It is carved not on tables, not on tablets of stone, but on human hearts. We are confident of all this because of our great trust in God through Christ. It is not that we think we are qualified to do anything on our own. Our qualification comes from God. He has enabled us to be ministers of his new covenant. This is a covenant not of written laws, but of the Spirit. The old written covenant ends in death, but under the new covenant, the Spirit gives life. The glory of the new covenant. The old way, with laws etched in stone, led to death, though it began with such glory that the people of Israel could not bear to look at Moses' face, for his face shone with the glory of God. Even though the brightness was already fading away, shouldn't we expect far greater glory under the new way? Now that the Holy Spirit is giving life, if the old way which brings condemnation was glorious, how much more glorious is the new way, which makes us right with God? In fact, that first glory was not glorious at all compared with the overwhelming glory of the new way. So if the old way which has been replaced was glorious, how much more glorious is the new which remains forever? Since this new way gives us such confidence, we can be very bold. We are not like Moses who put a veil over his face so the people of Israel would not see the glory, even though it was destined to fade away. 
But the people's minds were hardened. And to this day, whenever the old covenant is being read, the same veil covers their minds, so they cannot understand the truth. And this veil can be removed only by believing in Christ. Yes, even today when they read Moses' writings, their hearts are covered with that veil, and they do not understand. But whenever someone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. For the Lord is the Spirit, and wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. So all of us who have had that veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord, who is the Spirit, makes us more and more like Him as we are changed into His glorious image. The End God bless you and thank you for joining me today.